right, hey, what's up everybody? Here on the Vinnie Langdon Show, all the way from the UK. Did you guys get uh, Red Bull Records? Did they give you some wings so you could get over here? Pretty much. We're definitely earning some air miles, put it that way. Nice. Fantastic. Let's introduce who we have here. What do you do in the band? I'm Rob. I'm the bass player. Aaron of vocals. All right. So you guys, when you first started, it was, you know, a lot of, you know, auditions for the band. And, you know, you guys got the lineup and you guys got it going, right? They, they ended up with us. Yeah. <laughs> Not out of choice. <laughs> you guys were the best, right? Uh, questionable. Yeah. Right? It's just about, yeah, we, we kind of... Just cross paths on, on the live circuit and things because when you play our kind of music you know most of the people that are around and gigging and things and take it seriously and you know we just kind of through one way or another ended up in the band because you know we, we connect we've got chemistry but we also get on really well with each other so that's the most important thing if you're only on stage for an hour you got to be with each other 23 more hours there you go so for american fans you know you haven't been out here way too long you know you've been out here a couple times but that's about it huh yeah we had our first couple of experiences playing shows over here um at the, at the very end of last year and then we came over and did a, a, a circuit of shows we had to get our visa sorted out you see yeah. visas are an expensive <laughs> little uh, weird things um so yeah once once we got that all sorted out we spent a month over here did a few shows with buck cherry um did like various festivals like rock on the range rock of homer um and carolina Rebe- in rock in it basically um and yeah now we're here um for another two months we've been here two weeks we're here for another two months we're gonna head out on tour with the pretty records pretty soon nice fantastic and then after that over in europe with black veil brand yeah right till the end of the year and have about four days off and then start again yeah it's yeah. good to keep going busy right indeed yeah, exactly so you came out here you know a couple years ago hooked up with john feldman from goldfinger and uh worked on your record tell us about that that's right man that was done uh, just over a year ago now like 15 months and the actual recording took about eight days we were for about two weeks but we needed to get back for download festival in england so right. feldman's this crazy energetic ball of enthusiasm and a mental geezer that we had the most fun doing our album with the people he employed in his studio that were there with us the engineers awesome time with those guys like you know i'll always remember that it was just a, a quality laugh and we i think we got some you know we we're really pleased with the album i don't think we changed anything about it really right filthy empire and what's the filthy empire that you guys have gone to oh, um the world <laughs> the world huh? that's pretty much it <laughs> you, you know the filthy oh, empire oh, the uh, name <laughs> Free pancake day. Oh, it's a very, very dangerous place. <laughs> Filthy Empire was um, an album title that literally spoke to us on uh, sort of all levels, really. It was an, al- an amalgamation of a couple of titles that we had come up for the album, and, um, and you, you, know, you, can, you can take it from anything you like, whether it's you know like the the you know like the mechanics industry, <laughs> the politics, sex industry, whatever you like. There's always something in the world. And the good places and the bad places it's got kind of like a little filthy empire going on so right. we wanted to uh, get in there definitely playing with bands like Papa Roach Buck Cherry you guys worked with uh, Bon Jovi and you know just keep on adding to the list right yep yeah. Yeah, we're all about stealing fans so as many bands as we can play with to do that so. exactly. that's the way to do it now tell us about the early days when you guys first started you know some of these Americans out here when they start bands they start in garages basements and kind of go around flyer play local gigs and how did you guys build up to get this far so it far was basically in England just starting off playing everywhere and anywhere building stages out of tables playing in bingo halls you know whatever <laughs> it doesn't matter just getting out there putting on the best show we could to people because then next time you go back there hopefully they'll be telling their friends and stuff and so far it's worked like that and that's what we've come over to, over here to do like we, did, we got really lucky doing the festivals and stuff but after this on that tour it's going to the clubs with the pre reckless and stealing all their fans and making them ours really yeah, that's what it's about you got to do it yeah yeah definitely now we're going to take a quick break what's fun about my tv show is that we get to watch music videos you guys did one not too long ago, huh? Yeah. Um, I guess it'll be Fire Fire, I imagine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so we're here on the Vinny Langdon Show. When we come back, we're going to talk to them a little bit about after their tour, right after this. Now, what's nice about it is, like, when I was listening to the record, there's a lot of punk influences you can hear. You can hear a lot of, you know, and you guys say, hey, we're a British hard rock band. And, you know, you guys mix the genres all up, and there's a little bit of everything for everyone, huh? Well, that came from the chemistry and the friction between us and, and Feldman and each other, really, because we've all got various different musical influences. Like, John is a hardcore punk, really, at heart. He's a bit crazy. And, like, you know, I, I listen to, like, I listen to pretty heavy music. I listen to pretty light music as well. And everybody else has got, like, their, all, their own little uh, thing. And we all, you know, mucked in. And that's how Filthy Empire happened, pretty much. We had dozens and dozens and dozens of tracks. And we just picked the ones that we thought would make the best album possible. 
So pretty reckless, and then Black Veil Brides after that. So looking forward to that. And your shows are really energetic, and I think that's what you know my fans need to know about is when they come out here, they're not going to just be standing there with their shoulders, or the boyfriends and the girlfriends are going to be making out in the corner. No, they're going to be moving <laughs> around, jumping around. Huh? Well, that's you know we we love playing live. That's where we have the most fun. So everything you see is sincere, and we like just to have a bit of a. There's, there's still obviously energetic, but there's a lot of danger going on because you never know what's going to happen. It's just a little bit unpredictable, but I think people can see that and, and kind of get off on it as well. There you go. Oh, so Heaven Basement here on the Vinnie Langdon Show. Make sure you guys check them out here in the U.S. when you guys are back around. And good meeting you guys. Thanks very much for having us. All right. You, mate. Take care. The Vinnie Langdon Show, and we'll see you guys later with Love and Death right after this. Hey, Carol, how's it going? Thanks for supporting us. We're Heaven's Basement. You stay classy.